so hi guys welcome in this mql5 tutorial and this is going to be a very quick video um, i just want to show you one very simple thing and that is how to make your mt5 chart look like a trading view chart i think we can all agree on that the trading view charts look far more better uh, than the MT5 charts and in my opinion it's pretty important for the trader to have um, visually, visually pleasing charts in order to be able to stay focused on, the, on them for a longer period of time so if we check uh, yeah, I'm just going to close this, close this and let's just load the mt5 chart so if you open any chart it looks like this uh, i don't know about you but in my opinion this is not like a very attractive or visually visually pleasing chart for me so i just want to show you a very quick script that you can apply to your chart uh, for it to seem uh, or look like a trading view chart so it's extremely simple this is our function and now I will go line by line and explain uh, what uh, what each of these lines of code do so the first you can see that we are setting an integer and uh, this function or this uh, command is called char show grid that we are setting to false if i go back to my mt5 platform this is the grid this is disabling the grid so i like it without the grid but if you want to want to keep the grid just set this parameter to true and you will keep uh, the grid on your chart Moving on, the second line of my code is chart uh, set integer, and here we are setting the background uh, color. This is the color in RGB numbers uh, that TradingView uses. So what I can also do, input color pg color, so the user can. Uh, change the color if he or she wants to I can make this as an input parameter and then uh, pass the variable so yeah that's it moving on chart set integer uh, we are once again setting uh, true or true or false values and uh, this is for the ask line and the bit line so yeah uh, if you are opening an order you would like to keep this as uh, true so you can see the spread or you can see the dispersion between uh, ask and bid but yeah uh, for me it's not that important since i uh, trade with expert advisors so i keep it as false now the main part or in my opinion the main part is the color of candlesticks and uh, its wicks <clears throat> so uh, we are once again setting integers because uh, colors can be represented as integers you can see that we are setting candle bear candle bull so that's pretty self-explanatory so the bear is for uh, candlesticks that go down bull is for the candlesticks that go up and then we are setting chart down and chart up these uh, are for the wicks uh, chart down is a wick for the bear candlesticks so these two are linked together and then you have chart up and candle bear so these two are linked together what i can do here is also make uh, variables for each of these colors so we can later on change them so let's say bull candle color and let's set the initial value to this and here you can press ah. sorry 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 
sorry. Hold on a second. So let's take this. Because this is for the bull candle, bull candle color. Now let's do the same thing but for bear candle color. Let's take this value, copy it instead of this piece of uh, gold and let's paste it here and down input color uh, weight or let's say line up so this is for the up and the line up and the last one is input color line down and in this case it's going to be this color so line down and paste it here okay so we have our trading view chart so if i go back here and then open my navigator go to my um, file for sorry yeah you can indicate if you want to start advisors and it's right here so trading view chart deploy it here and you can see that the chart changes accordingly to our to our colors of course what i can do if you don't any of these colors i can go right here and yeah click on any new uh, new new color and if you because if you uh, want to select from these colors these are very basic colors so what i would recommend to click on this custom button right here and then this is uh, the color that you have in the inputs menu and then you can just for example change the shade a bit so if i click ok and click ok right here you can see how the background changes as well yeah so you can you can you can play with these colors to make it uh, even more pleasing for your eyes if you want a very vibrant red color you can set it like this click ok and it also changed okay so this is it this was very simple tutorial but i think it uh, may come handy when you are looking at the chart for a longer period of time so thank you for watching and yeah see you in the next tutorial